<laughs> anyway, so greetings, ladies and gentlemen of Adlington, and other postcodes are welcome. Although you will have to wear a mask when you listen to this. Uh, this is the latest instalment of the, I'm tempted to say, post-COVID uh, Adlington Village News. Mm -hmm. But we are still in the thick of it. But frankly, the way we are all going about things now, you might, we might as well never have happened. And introducing my latest and hopefully final co-host, Mr. Derek Hill. Hello. Derek is not only a very able podcaster and a natural wit, but he's also a mighty Viking warrior. <laughs> Which leads me on to one of my first things, which is that if you think about it, me and Derek look like we could be an, a two-man Peter Jackson epic. <laughs> <laughs> he's a, he's clearly a, a, a rider of Rohan. <laughs> Welcome, riders of Rohan. Oh, by the way, me and Derek uh, formed our podcasting alliance in the glorious uh, drinking establishment, which is known as the Top Spinners. Mm -hmm. Sponsors of this week's podcast, Derek. Brilliant, brilliant. Beautiful people, beautiful beer, beautiful place. Yes. Now, uh, when my favourite in Adlington. Ah, when that says a lot because there are many options. There are. Well, not only are the top spinners uh, sponsoring today's uh, podcast, and we get no no remunerative beer for this whatsoever. Sam's made that very clear. Yeah. Uh, but also, we are co-sponsored this week by Fairview Cleaners of Adlington. The finest bunch of washerwomen you ever want to come across. Absolutely. They do it all very well and at very reasonable prices. Okay, now, but we were in the pub and we were, somebody asked a question about, um, was it Arthurian legends? It was, yes, yeah, Arthurian legend, yeah. It was yeah. something to do with, uh, you know, the origins of, uh, of, of Arthur, the Pendragon, you know. Yes. The Pendragon. Uh, that's right, and there yeah. was a question about the, about the location of... Of, of the seat of Arthur. That's right, yeah. yeah. And you said? I, I believe I said Tintagel. You did, and I said Avalon. That's this, right. This will give you the kind of, a, a, an indication as to how much we overthink things. Yeah, yeah. The answer was clearly just Camelot. Camelot. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know. to, to, to Avalon was a, was a place where, I believe, um, Merlin was taken um, and he uh, with the Lady of the Lake. Oh. So the Lady of the Lake was Avalon. Really? And Tintagel was a place where um, Uther uh, and his, uh, I'd like to say wife, but it wasn't, it was somebody else's wife, conceived oh, Arthur. By gum. Uh, so Tintagel was where Arthur was conceived. There must be some kind of gag in there about Tintagel, Arthurian mismatches, uh, <laughs> spermatozoa going stray in the well, lake. Maybe the lake was swimming in sperm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and the sword was merely a metaphor well, well, or a euphemism for well, Arthur's. Uh, you know. <laughs> who knows, ladies? Who knows? Who knows? We, it could be. It could but, be. <laughs> but thus, in that conversation, in the white heat of that conversation, was forged the new pod. Yes. Um, oh, by the way, we've had our first live tweet, everybody. By the way, obviously, this is going out live wherever you are uh, and wherever you listen to this. It's mm -hmm. uh, whatever time it is now. Yeah. We've had our first live tweet, Derek. That's good. That's good. I like live tweets. Who doesn't love a tweet? Exactly. <clears throat> Justin, oh, is it? Uh, I'm, I'm reading. Why have you chosen the video cast rather than audio? You know, uh, people can see your horrifically bloated, alcohol ravaged face, etc. Lots of love, mum. So now, thank now you. Now, is that your mum or my mum? <laughs> Possible names for the new pod. Good, okay. Yep. Now, I think the overarching brand of Adlington Village News is okay, mm -hmm. but I like your suggestion based on the ease with which American pool players seem to be able to pot the ball. Yes. Which was? Buckets for pockets. Buckets for pockets, ladies. What about that? Buckets for pockets. Buckets for pockets. It, it just trips. It's, it's quite a percussive, yeah. hard, staccato yeah. kind I of like sound. Yes. Buckets yeah. for pockets. Buckets for pockets. Now I've got to come up with some kind of graphic to accompany this, <laughs> this shambles. Yeah. Um, Might be a bit trickier that one, too. Yeah. <laughs> now then, have you got anything that you'd like to introduce to the group, Derek, before I go any further? Not at all, no. I'm happy to just go with the flow. Great. The first one. Okay. Well, in that case, is anybody else fed up with people being on a journey or being, or even people doing air quotes? What a dick. Anyway. <laughs> or or the, the, some kind of narrative. Everything's got to have a narrative. narrative or yeah. a bit it's, a, it's, a, it's a common thing these days. And it is. Billy Connolly was one of the first people to say that he hates people doing air quotes. Because <laughs> he said, I just want to grab hold of the fingers and <laughs> ah, snap them. Hmm. <laughs> Derek, the rider of Rohan, Viking warrior, everybody. Yes. Never <laughs> far away from uh, <laughs> violent. <laughs> it's a violent episode. Yeah. <laughs> 
And by the way, if you've been uh, affected by any of the issues raised in this week's podcast, uh, then we have, there's a fact sheet on uh, CFAX page 321. <laughs> CFAX still going. It is for the purposes of that gag. Let me tell you. <laughs> That's all right then. <laughs> oh yeah. Now I don't know about you, Derek. You're, Derek's a very sturdy, you know, rock solid kind of, as you'd expect from a rider of Rohan. <laughs> but and I, you know, I have a low centre of gravity, but I also have what's known in the trade as blocked ears. Blocked <laughs> ears. And I've brought years of playing. I've played the drums. I don't know. But I kind of lose my balance if I'm walking. I try to walk straight. Mm -hmm. But if I look at a, a bird in a tree or, or, mm -hmm. or a swan on the canal, ladies, you know Adlington. It's like a it's like a rustic idyll, mm -hmm. like a utopia. Anyway, yeah. so I'm walking along, look at something. Oh, keeling over. <laughs> so that can be a bit of a hazard mm -hmm. when you're walking along the canal path at Adlington. Absolutely. Somebody comes toward, yeah. and you get that crucial moment where you both have to greet. Uh, and, and well, in my case. I either have to greet them or look away. Yes. Because I can sometimes appear a little murdery on the <laughs> on the canal walk, especially when I'm I'm getting a bit of a stomp on and I've got this face. And I'm going. I, I don't think I'm doing that, but this is the part they want to do. So I either look. If, if, I think if somebody if somebody uh, makes eye contact. Yes. It's beholden upon you. Yes. To say hello. Yes. So. And it's annoying when they do not respond. Annoying. Yes. So many bodies are in that canal now because yeah. they didn't respond. No, no, I shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> we'll cut that bit out. Yeah. yeah. But no. So, so there is a there is a moment. There's a kind of an optimum. Uh, what do you call it? An azimuth? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'd say certainly you've got a window of opportunity there, haven't you? Window of opportunity. Yeah. And so, then once you've passed it, that's it. There's no going back. <laughs> but because we drive on the left in this country, yes. Most people gravitate naturally to those. So pass left. on the left. Yeah, left. Yeah. So there's that awful. Mm -hmm. Shuffle, you yeah. know, is this guy gonna, what's he gonna go. do? He's gonna yeah. kill me, throw me in the canal. He just wants to say hello, that's I'm it, full yeah. of love. Yeah. Everybody, that's all <laughs> the passers by shuffle. Um, now because of the old Covid malarkey, yes. possibly Brexit, I don't know. The truck drivers have not been delivering. Mm -hmm. You know, people are talking about there's no chicken on the shelves, the eggs have gone, oh, mm -hmm. chicken, chicken and the egg, which went first. <laughs> anyway, I'm bemoaning. The lack of sparkling water on the shelves at Morrison's, Tesco, other retailers that are available. Mm -hmm. But then, then it struck me, what a bourgeois problem that is to have. It is uh, certainly a first world problem. <laughs> it's a first world it's problem. First world right. problem, yeah. People are getting bombed in Syria and we're more, I'm, I'm, walk, I'm mincing around the aisles at Tesco in That's between it. the sushi bar thinking, oh, you know, and they're going, oh, they've no sparkling water. <laughs> You're watching these sort of like, you know, refugees fleeing oh. a, a, a dilapidated, bombed oh. out building and you're just going, yeah, but that's, that's important. <laughs> but where's my, where's my fizzy water gone? <laughs> I mean, you know. Worst thing is, when you get back from a weekend in Ingleton and you realise you've not watered the oregano plant. Oh, that's terrible. Do they like fizzy water as well? Yeah, fizzy, fizzy oregano. <laughs> fizzy you. herbs. There you go. Uh, they, you know, but nonetheless, some so, idiot says... So intellectually challenged. Intellectually maybe. challenged. Maybe, perhaps. Perhaps. Maybe. maybe. I'm, I'm mm. going to go with that. Mm. Says something like, horses are vegetarians. Right. Derek, we've not... By the way, you can probably tell this is not rehearsed, but Derek, go with that. Right. Uh... I don't really think they've got a choice in the matter. I don't think it's as if they sort of like go, well, I've tried to catch and eat smaller things than me. Uh, but these like, hooves are... Exactly, yeah. They're not good for gripping. And, uh, you know, so... No, I, no. I just think it's uh, it's not a it's not a choice. It's not an ethical choice. It's not an ethical choice. It's not as if they, 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 they've sort of like all got together, you know, in a, in a sort of a equine meeting. <laughs> and just saying, you know... The meeting of the meeting of the hooves or whatever you know you yeah, could call it. could be called it an equivox. Exactly. Where everybody yes. has an equal voice <laughs> amongst the horse. This works on yes. so many yeah. levels. Equine vox, yes, it's an equivox. Yes, like it, it, yes, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so it's not an ethical choice. No. People who say that they are herbivores. That's right. Vegetarians choose not to eat animals for various reasons. That's true. It's like saying um, you you, you uh, like for example dogs are are, 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 f are facultative carnivores. Pay attention. Facultative carnivores, which means that they, they can eat other things than meat, but in order to have a balanced diet, they shouldn't. Right. So, for example, also, so you can have, for example, a vegan dog, but it's not good for the dog. Not really. No. It would be very hard for it to get all the nutrients from a plant free, a plant diet and a meat-free diet. Great. Also, cats, not a chance. They're called obligate carnivores what's that you say obligate carnivores so you cannot have a vegan cat it would die <laughs> so and i would i wouldn't let that happen on my watch no i wouldn't i wouldn't you know, I, I think forcing my 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 opinions on 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 people let alone <laughs> helpless little animals <laughs> so. 
you know. with, with limited food choices, you know. Exactly. You know, now they've yeah. been domesticated. But is that where canine teeth and oh no, it's carne, carne canine? No, mm. not to do with meat. Mm, not really. Okay. No, it's it's more to do with the sort of the uh, historical background of the carnos, carnos. Canary Islands based on dogs, not canaries. Yes, uh, I'll be right. editing that bit out to make me appear <laughs> less stupid. <laughs> the power of the power of the executive producer's role. Yeah. Um, now then, uh, oh, we've got some new, local news items, Derek. Brilliant. Shall we see what's been happening in the world of Chorley? Yes. Or already anywhere else for that matter. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. Now this. Now speaking as somebody who's about to go to Thailand. Yes. Would you like to read the headline for the ladies and gentlemen at home? Yeah, certainly. It says, Nasty surprise as man bitten by python while sitting on the toilet. Sitting. Python. Nasty. The, the, there are some key words there. There are, yeah. Now, obviously, uh, one settles down for... Is it defecation? Uh, you know, no, could yeah. be many other... You know, Absol- poop, Absolutely. Poop, you know, yeah. Yeah. And you're thinking, right, well, this is going great. I'm enjoying what's happening so far. And then suddenly, <laughs> what the... What? <laughs> and, and Derek, would you be... Uh, yeah, it says uh, Cornwall. Man 18 rescued from hole he dug on Nuki Beach after it collapsed on him. Where do we start with this? You know, the Darwin Awards, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I would, uh, I would suggest maybe, you know... I wouldn't dig in something as uh, as, as a little bit unstable as sand. <laughs> Did he put support props, uh, perhaps a mesh framework around his progress? No, yeah, no, not and at also, all. Man, eighteen. Now I come know, on, I know the lad's it's, still it's learning it a bit, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but or it was a really badly ill thought out suicide bid. I'm just. <laughs> I, oh yeah. Now, all the, there's two sheets of this crap to get through, by the way. Got, you've, got some, uh, you've got some issues with but, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, have I, I got issues? Do you, want to hear, do you want to hear one of mine? Yes. Right. I do. Right. Bicep. It's, I've seen it written down. It's still wrong. Because I've seen it because biceps is singular as right. well as plural. So it's re- it's basically it's defining the, the muscle. So you've got two connections. So hence biceps, two muscle heads here and here. Mm. Muscle heads. So it's um, it's plural. It, it's got an S on the end, even when it's singular. It's it's biceps is a singular term. It's a, a, the biceps muscle. A yeah. biceps muscle. Two That's biceps right. muscles. That's right. And so triceratops had three horns. He did. He did. But what, did, what about the triceps? Is that also a singular? Yeah, yeah. Thing? That's oh. a, that's also that is also singular because you have three heads. You have uh, two connections and then one connection. You see, so. this is why Derek's on the payroll now. There you go. Payroll. So yeah. Also quadriceps as well, but uh, that's a bit more complicated because it's actually a couple of muscle groups, not just. Are one. they down here? Oh, yes. All right. Yeah. I need my quadriceps doing quite quite regularly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, I like that. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. It annoys uh, me. Billboard advertising. Now we are bombarded with messages yes. to respect women and particularly let's not objectify young girls and women as sexual objects. We good, understand good. that. That's, Equality, that's laudable. Laudable. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's absolutely it's it makes sense. Why it wouldn't be, you? you? Should know, be our, basic, really. Our mums are all women exactly. and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, yeah. so why then mm-hmm. when you pass a bus shelter or a billboard, you see nasty girl mm-hmm. with like girl with a, you know mm-hmm. another one is pretty young thing. Yeah. Pretty yeah. young thing, nasty girl, what next? Filthy little whore. <laughs> Imagine the graphic for that brand range. And I'm hoping by that stage I will have created one and cut it under the screen just right now. Filthy little whore, come and get your bikini tops and holy jeans. I think I think that was a thing on South Park, you know. Oh, really? I think they did the Paris Hilton filthy little whore playset. No way, really? Yes. This is great, because this, I've never seen that. I have seen that, I've never seen that. Yeah, yeah, but this yeah. is how sometimes... Things can converge. Yeah. People come up with similar ideas because they're, they're thinking the same things. And, yeah. and that's, that's you know, that's that just it. goes to show exactly. that's a correct response to this sort of sexualization. <laughs> the object, you know. it is. And, it, and you see, well, frankly, you see some of the girls out now, mm-hmm. I'm pointing over here like we've got a load of them in, <laughs> yeah, in the back room for yeah, later. Just, just in the other room, yeah. They're dressed mm-hmm. like teenage Costa Rican hookers. <laughs> I've never Ooh. seen a teenage Which? Costa Rican hooker. I've lived. Yes, you but have. but what parent? Which kind of parents let the children go out like that? You know, madness. That's true. Okay, now finally, oh, walking along the canal, saw great. There's a, somebody down there is making objet d'art and little bits and bobs, and, and I saw a mug with the best kind of affir- life affirming, aspirational, spiritual quote I've seen. I'm going to share it with you now. <clears throat> 50% namaste, 50% go fuck yourself. <laughs> now that, that is class. That is uh, so good. It is. That is so good. I'm getting that on a t-shirt. Excellent. I love it. I'm going to get on my underpants. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. 
<laughs> so, and finally, in this section of the I think show... that would send out the wrong message <laughs> yeah. on your underpants, especially if you're with your loved one. Of course. <laughs> Maybe one on the front, one on the back. And, oh, just time for a quick round-up of the sports. Uh, football, cricket, rugby times two, boxing, swimming and athletics. I think that's pretty much all of the no, sports. That pretty much rounds it up. So that's, that's yeah. the end of that particular segment. And it falls to me now to say thank you. His first time on the pod, his inaugural, his debut performance, Mr Derek Hill, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. There'll be some applause in there. Yeah, some okay. crowd noises. Yeah. Thanks, Derek. Yeah. Thanks, Derek. Yeah. Thank you very much. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. See you all next time, ladies. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. <laughs> And then we do the old. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Done. <laughs> and then, by which time, I'll have cut it and faded to. <laughs>